Hello everybody, good afternoon, welcome to That's Football, I'm Mark Goldbridge for Chelsea versus Brentford this Premier League weekend. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Um, apologies for being a little bit late, but uh, if I told you why I was late, you probably wouldn't believe me. Um, I was having a threesome, no, I wasn't really. Um, not that I haven't anyway, but uh, no, I was uh, more, more uh, uh, mundane things than that. Um, I've been down to Sainsbury's getting some pumpkins um, and then I made a bacon sandwich that took longer than I thought and then I couldn't get um, a password to work on Seb's iPad and then I had a um, problem getting my Sky to work again. So yeah, half seven, which is on YouTube or you can call in. Um, make sure you listen to that, half seven till nine. Looking forward to be back on that. That's got to be a goal. Oh, Cucurella. Cucurella. He's been on the Strella. That's a terrible miss. That's terrible. I'm finishing this. It's a lovely cross by Cole Palmer. If you've got Cole Palmer in your team, you should have an assist. But Cucurella, he's been on the Stella because that's a pissed up finish. That's terrible. Rubbish. I mean, people, anybody who thinks that's hard, it's not. The cross is brilliant. It's not too quick. It's right on his right foot. He's got, to, he's got to go right side or left side. It's an inside of the foot chance, so you're passing it in. You know, technically, that's not a difficult chance because you've to hit it, you've got to, you've got to use the instep. And the instep, as we know with passing, is where you get, all your dire you get better direction. So, um, yeah, bad miss. I don't know why it's that good. Uh, add an Osman or Martinez to this Chelsea side. Jack, I think you've got it right with your first one. You add uh, a Victor Osman to this Chelsea side, which I'm very surprised they didn't do. I think it makes a huge difference. Um, Stanley, Heath, Hedge, Heath Ledger, Irfan Khan, too many lost, says Exedra. Focus, because Football Focus had come on about 10 past 12. Here we go, Brentford. Oh, what a twat. Why don't you shoot? Why don't you shoot? Brentford there, really um, hickey. Cross comes into him. It's difficult, but he tries to control it. He should have fucking shot. Premier League table as it stands. And there it is. As it stands at the moment, Chelsea would be on in 10th place with most of everybody above them still to play. It is imperative that Chelsea win this game. And even if Chelsea win this game, they only go level with Manchester United on 15. But they cannot afford to not win today, Chelsea. Their, their season is, is just... You know, the, the gap, it reminds me of my EAFC career. Like, it's, I just cannot get away from mid-table. Um, Chelsea got to find a way of winning this game, however they do it. And, and, and I think that, in fairness to them, it's not that they're, they're not pushing. I mean, they've had 67% possession. Um, Go! What a save! Bloody hell, Brentford should have been in front. They should have been in front. The cut back, and he was straight at, straight at. Sanchez, it should have been 1-0. It's a good save, but I think it's from that distance he's got a score. I mean, he's he's walking onto it. It's a good power shot. Bottom corner, ain't is they're not saveable. Should have scored. Realistically, all you've got to do is Oh my god, Brentford have scored! They've scored a goal! I can't believe it! It's it's 1-0 to Brentford. 1-0, it's not a drill. It's happened again. It happened at Old Trafford. It's happening at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea fans can't believe it. We're literally talking about this inability to score goals. And Brentford have scored. They've literally hung it up on the back post. Cole Palmer looks... Well, he looks like that normally. It's hard to tell what his emotion is. But it's lovely play by Brentford. It's pinged up to the back post. And, well, you've got to say, where's De Sarsi on this? I don't rate De Sarsi at all. And I, I, I've got a question where he is. I don't even know where he is. Nowhere. That's not on That's not on Thiago Silva. And Bumo with the cross, if you're interested. Uh, I can see a lot of people in the chat saying Chelsea paid £100 million for Casido, but and I get it. It's it's banter and it's an easy target, but they're losing 1-0 to Brentford. It's not because of Casido, and Casido's not at fault for the goal. 
and it's not his not his job to score. Like Chelsea could be winning this game three nil from the chances that they've had, and then Casido's having a good game, isn't he? So this is the the problem with Chelsea is not Casido. So you know you've never seen him wear a Chelsea shirt. If you're if you're if you're resting your whole future on Nkunku, then you've not done your own work. You're putting a hell of a lot of pressure on him. He's good. He's good. I like Nkunku. I think Liverpool fans would like him. Arsenal, I'd certainly want him at United. He's a really good player, Nkunku, but he's not a natural striker. And you've never seen him play for Chelsea. So he can't. you can't put your whole season being like this on the fact that Nkunku got injured. Um, you really, really can't. What you, what you put your season on is how... Todd Bowley spends a billion pounds in 12 months and doesn't go and buy Victor Osman, who you could have got for 130 million. If you'd gone to Napoli and said, there's 130 million, they'd have gone, thank you very much. That's all they needed to do. Not, you know, you weren't going to get Harry Kane. Harry Kane would have been brilliant. You weren't going to get Harry Kane. Spurs would not have done a deal. But if you'd gone to Napoli and said, there's 130 million quid, they'd have said, thank you very much. Casemiro got a red for that. Uh, I think that is a red. I think it's a red for me. I don't know why they're not reviewing it. Looks like a red. He's dived in. It studs. The inconsistency continues in the Premier League. Brentford are on the attack here. They've got a 4v3. It's a great save by Sanchez. 89th minute. Brentford nearly won it. One on one. He's kept them in it. He's kept them in it there. On the break, Brentford could have won it at the end. It's a massive save from Sanchez, that. And to be fair to Brentford, they got everything right. And a goal! They've done it again! Is he offside? What? What's happened there? They've scored. I thought it was in. What went wrong? It was in. Put it in the bottom corner. No goal for what? It didn't go in. It missed. I need to go back. The cross comes in. Lovely play by Morpe. Probably going to miss a Chelsea goal. Oh, yeah. Is it the side netting? Bloody hell. And oh my God. It's over. It's 2-0. And this is embarrassing for Chelsea. Absolutely embarrassing. The break's happened. Oh, I tell you what, I put it there and they scored again. It's 2-0 to Brentford. And Bumo, the FPL legend. Chelsea, that ground's empty in now. It's like it's like someone taking the plug out of the bath. It's empty in. Chelsea, 2-0 to Brentford. And Bumo, the FPL goat. They were always leaving themselves open at the back here. Well, let's hope the media gets on potch as much as they did uh, Ten Hag. Because it's over for Poch. Just been done on the break. And the, bo the bottom line is, the interesting bottom line here is, amongst everything, is that no shot on target in the second half. For Chelsea. Zero shots on target in the second half. Absolute shite. Absolute terrible.